there are several ways to transform data that are not normally distributed in SPSS. There are three available options to transform data from non-normal distribution to normal distribution. The first option, option is log 10, square root, and reciprocal transformation. For negatively skewed data, to perform log 10 transformation, it is a prerequisite to do data reflection. So data reflection is the first step in data transformation. Then, once data reflection is performed, log 10 transformation can be done on the reflected negative skewed data. Here in this data view, I have a column labeled NS, which stands for negatively skewed data. I have already checked the distribution of this data using the explore function in SPSS and found they are negatively skewed and I will show you shortly how to do that. And since these data are negatively skewed and we need to use log 10 transformation, the first step in doing log transformation of negatively skewed data is to do a reflection. So a reflection is a prerequisite and it is important and essential step superseding transformation. Once reflection on this data is performed, then it is permittable to do log 10 transformation. So the first step is to look at the data and explore them. And the way to do that, click on Analyze, Descriptive Data, Explore, you see this, and I'm going to move the data label then is to the dependent list, and I'm going to untick, click on Plots, untick Stem, tick the histogram, tick Normality Plot with this. So I'm going to look at the distribution of the data that I have, using the histogram, the QQ plot, and the statistical test for normality. Two tests. If I click on continue, and then click on OK, tables are generated in this output, and the one which is in the middle, so labeled that descriptive, you can see that these data are skewed, and it is negatively skewed, minus 0.65. And if we look at the table below, two tests being used, KS test and Shapiro-Welk test for testing normality. And the, those two tests shows that these data are not normally distributed. So there is a skewness in this data and it is negatively skewed. If we look at the histogram, we can see here that the data are clustering to the right and the tail point toward or the data point toward the negative value. So it is negatively skewed. And if we look at the QQ plot here, we can see the data are clustering above the diagonal line. So these data are now, we establish that these data are not normally distributed and it is negatively skewed. And if we want to proceed to do log 10, we have to do a, an essential prerequisite step called data reflection. And the way to do data reflection is first to determine the maximum value in the data set. And from this table, we can see that the maximum value is 6.12. We're going to use this shortly value. So the way to do data reflection is to click on transform, compute variable, reset this, and here I'm going to label this target variable to generate a new variable. We'll call it data reflection. And to do data reflection is to use the maximum value, which is 6.12, we're going to add number one to it, and we're going to subtract the value for each 
score in each in the in, in, in the ns column or variable so in this formula says that the maximum value is 6.12 we add to it one and then subtract each value in the data we have or each score in the data so if we click on OK, a new column is generated and labeled data reflection. And if we click on analyze again to examine the distribution of this data, and we click on descriptive statistic, explore, and then move the NS to the dependent list, the data reflection to the dependent list, and we are not going to do any changes here I think I'm going to untick the uh, stem tick the histogram and tick the normality plot with this continue okay again descriptive table is generated one is labeled need data in s negatively skewed and the one with data reflection Data reflection has really, the data was negatively skewed. When you do a data reflection, it become positively skewed, point, minus 0. 0.65 to positive 0. 0.65. And testing, looking at the histogram, this is for the neat original data. And this is for the reflected data. And as you can see here, it has been reflected. And if we look again at the table, you can see here that data is becoming positively skewed. So now we finish doing the first step in data reflection for data transformation. And if we move to the log, 10 transformation so the red the data now are ready to perform log 10 transformation the way to do log 10 transformation is click and transform again compute variable reset this and we're going to call it log 10 and to do log 10 is to click on the function group arithmetics select the log 10 move it to the numeric expression and then we're going to do log 10 or not on the neat data on the reflected data and if i click the bottom for ok the spss will generate a column for log 10 of the reflected data and i'm going to explore and look at the data for the three the neat data the reflected data and the log 10 we move the log 10 to the dependent list keep everything setting the same and we click on ok a new table is generated for all the three again as we can see here if we scroll down to log 10 we can see that um, the skewness doing log 10 has reduced the skewness from 0 0.65 to minus minus 0 0.65 to minus 0.14 so this is really a dramatic reduction in the skewness and again if we look at the test for normality using ks ks test and shavir work test you can see that log 10 has transformed the data and the data become really normally distributed from the value of 0.2 and 0.6 for both tests so log 10 has really managed to rescue and transform the data from being negatively skewed into nearly normally distributed. So if we look at the histogram, we can see that that's the histogram for uh, negatively skewed data and processed data. <coughs> histogram for the reflected data and the histogram for the log 10 or the log 10 of the reflected negatively skewed data is indicated that it's normally distributed. And if you look at the QQ plot, you can see that all the dots or circles are aligned perfectly onto nearly perfectly on the diagonal, the diagonal line. 
and if you look at box plot it is really normally distributed so we've done log 10 transformation on on negatively skewed data by doing first data reflection and then second log 10. we could do also a step that is combining both data reflection and log in one step the way to do that is to click on compute variable reset this and i'm going to call it again log 10 direct so to do log 10 direct is to click on arithmetics log 10 and move the log 10 here since i'm going to do log 10 on the need data and i'm going to do both data reflection and log 10 simultaneously so i'm going to use the need data so i'm going to do again repeat that is to do reflection 6.12 add to it one subtract from it the value for each score in the data label negatively score so here now we have an equation that's saying do a log 10 for a data that will that that will be reflected so reflection will be done simultaneously log 10 will be done so if i click on ok again you can see here that the log 10 direct has generated column has been generated for log 10 direct and the value in it similar to the way that you've done it so you have done it by two steps or one step so there are two 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 step log 10 or one step so there are two ways to do the log 10 of negatively skewed data to do first either to do the data reflection first in a column and then do log 10 on this data or just combine them in one column and do data reflection and log 10 in one column. This is the way to do log 10 transformation of negatively skewed data.